Today we will take a look at creating a truss using MD Solids. First we will start by setting up the grid using the truss program. The first thing that it's going to ask you is to set up the grid spacing. For this particular example we are going to use a grid spacing of 3.25 inches in the X direction and 3.25 inches in the Y direction. Down here you can set up the number of grid spaces that you would like in each of the X and the Y directions. When you are happy with your selections, simply press the OK button in order to generate your grid. Over here on the left, you will see that you have limited options in order to create your trusses. You can either create or erase a member, support, or load that you apply to your truss system. We will start off by drawing the basic shape of our truss. For this first example, we are going to draw a triangle. Note that I have the create selected as well as members. This will allow me to draw my beams. The first beam is going to go diagonally across a single box. Note that it will also give you the angle at which the beam is to the x-axis. We're going to draw diagonally across another box and then finally across the bottom. This truss is now 3.25 inches tall and 6.5 and inches wide. Next, we will add supports to our truss system. We will use a pin over here on the left side. As we learned earlier, a pin has both a Y component and an X component to the reaction forces. And we'll use a roller here on the right side. A roller can only resist motion in one direction and freely moves in the other. Next, we will add our external loads. We will have a single force acting here at the top. In order to draw a force, you must start at the point where you want the force to act and draw an arrow in the direction of which you want the force to act. We will create a 100 pound force acting straight in the downward direction. I will set the magnitude to 100 and press enter load. Okay? The arrow will fix itself and 100 will appear. Notice there are no units, but the default units for the program are in inches and pounds. Let's say I'm not happy with one of my selections. Let's say I want to erase this force and add another force. So I will need to select the erase option and draw a line over the, over the force I would like to erase. Now I can go back and draw a new force in the other direction. I will need to again start here and draw in the direction I would like my force to face. In this case we will make a force arrow going to the right and in this case we will set the magnitude to 50 pounds. Once I am happy with my selection I can press the compute button and it will generate all of the reaction forces. Again, there's two reaction forces, one in the X and one in the Y direction here at my pin and only a single reaction force here at my roller. It will also tell me the force that is acting in each one of my members and whether or not that particular member is under experiencing tension or experiencing compression. 